Well, welcome to service tonight. <laughs> Go ahead and stand up. We're just going to let it be known who reigns in this place. Jesus, we lift you up. We magnify you. And we thank you that you receive the glory and the honor and the praise that you are worthy of tonight. You're an awesome God, and we bless your name tonight, Jesus. So we just rejoice in your goodness. We rejoice in who you are, that your presence is here with us tonight. <laughs> so we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We lift you up. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Jesus, you are good. Come on, let's turn it up. We're gonna sing it out for all the world to hear. Oh, 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 oh. There's life for everyone. A new day has begun. Something to shout about. Oh, God. 
God is an awesome God. That's who we serve. That's who is here tonight. Because he is alive and we just praise you tonight, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are awesome, God. Ooh, that's loud. Well, praise God. How many of you believe that your God is an awesome God? Amen? Now, I want to just make sure I'm in the right church tonight, okay? How many of you believe that there is nothing that is impossible for your God? Yeah. You know, I'm in the right place then because that's the attitude and that's the, that's the focus we should come by. Every time we come to church, whether it is a deeper service or any other church service that you might come to, you've got to declare in yourself that my God is able to do. Amen? And here's the thing. Now, as we go into this deeper service, as we continue to go deeper in our worship and deeper in our praise, one of the things that we've got to do is when we do that, we recognize that the God that we're worshiping and the God that we're praying to and the God that we're singing to is able to do. Amen? There's so much that can happen when we worship and we purpose to praise and to worship. So thank you so much for coming on out. Go ahead and greet each other. Tell them that you're excited that they're here and tell them to get ready to go deep. Well, what a great evening it is to come together and to worship our God and to just praise Him. And thank you so much for coming on out on behalf of Pastor David and Pastor Lynn. We want to welcome you tonight. We want to welcome you that are watching this via live stream as well. Jesus is the King. Jesus is the Savior yesterday, today, and forever. And we believe that we serve a good God. So welcome. And no matter where you're watching us from, we have people that are monitoring our live stream. If you can just type it in and tell us where you're watching from. If you have a prayer request, a praise report, whatever it might be, we want to hear from you. We want to rejoice with you. We want to pray with you and enter in with us this evening. Because we believe that as we go deeper in our praise, deeper in our worship, it opens up all those promises of God in our life. So we want to ask you to go deeper with us. And if you're here in the sanctuary and this is your first time, we want to welcome you as well and let you know we have a guest welcome center back at the back of the sanctuary. Just come on back there. we got a free gift we'd like to give you. Make you feel right at home. That's exactly where you are. Amen. You are amongst family, so come on back there after the service. Hey, just got some announcements here uh, real quickly. This Saturday, we've got a lot of things going on, and it all starts for with I Give Life. Amen? We're going to go out to the park. at. We're going to be here at 1230 instead of 1245. We're going to be here at 1230 here at the church. We'll just go over a little bit of training things, and then we're going to go out to the park. We're going to hand out water, and we're going to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to go tell them. We're going to pray for, with people. Now, again, one of the things that uh, we've gone out several times, and we've gone out and talked to lots of people, and maybe nobody receives the Lord, but lots of people will allow us to pray with them. And in this current things that are all these things that are happening in the world right now, how many of you know that we need more of God? Amen. We need more of Jesus. So come on out with us. Be here at 1230. We'll head out to the park. Be there about two hours, and then we'll come back but we're excited to do that. But if you have any questions about it, you can see me also on that same day at 5 p.m. Uh, we have the men are having a barbecue, amen? And uh, this is the last hurrah for the summer. How many of you know that school's about ready to start? They're all excited, right? Especially those that have already graduated. They're real excited, amen? But uh, anyway, so this is kind of our last hurrah as men uh, for the summer. We're having a barbecue. So there's a couple of things. Uh, bring your favorite... Uh, your favorite lawn chair, and also your best homemade barbecue sauce. Pastor has put out a challenge that he is going to bring the best one. Amen? <laughs> Are you? Oh, I thought you said you were. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I take that back, okay? But uh, anyway, we do have a traveling trophy that goes home with the person that makes the best sauce, and uh, Tony Viaponda won it last year, and uh, he won't be there this Saturday. But, uh, of course, it'll go to somebody new. But come on now. We're just going to fellowship. There's going to be a fireworks specialist there that's going to talk about us men keeping all of our fingers during the 4th of July. There, and that was a, okay, never mind. He didn't get it, all right? But anyway, 
but keeping all our fingers, yeah, make sure we have 10 when we leave on 4th of July, but it's just going to be a great time of fellowship. So sign up out in the foyer so we know how many people to expect. Uh, bring a lawn chair, and again, uh, just bring out your, if you have a, a favorite recipe that you make as far as uh, uh, homemade barbecue sauce, bring that out as well. We have an all-church camp out happening on August 23rd and 24th. Uh, the group sites are all taken, so but there are still some daily sites that you can go to as well. But if you have any questions about that, just see me sign up out in the foyer as well. It's a great time again. We're going up to Kurt Gowdy. You don't have to go and spend the night if you want to just come up for the day and have dinner with us that night or breakfast the next morning and just stay during the daytime. You can do that as well. But again, sign up out in the foyer and you can see me if you have any other questions. The last thing I want to mention on August 27th, what happens? There you go. All right. CVTC starts. Amen. August 27th, CBTC starts, and uh, it's going to be another great year of starting the school year, not only for, for the school here in Cheyenne, but also for Cheyenne Bible Training Center. And we're going to have some great classes, and I mentioned this on Sunday morning. You know, one of the classes that we're going to have this, this semester that we've never had before is how to study the Bible. Amen? How many of you know that studying is more than just reading? You know, studying is more than reading. So we're going to have a class on how to study the Bible, different uh, maybe applications you can use, concordances, all kinds of different things. But that's going to be a great class. But you can see our dean of CBDC right down here. If you have any questions, we'll have two other classes as well. We're going to have man's redemption and the fruit of the Spirit. Great lineup of classes. It's going to be a great time. So sign up for that because how many of you know you cannot study the Word enough? Amen? we got to continue. The Bible says that we, faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God, and we want to continue to build our faith. So that happens on the 27th. Now let's go into the kingdom. What do you think, huh? Well, praise God. The ushers in the aisle with envelopes. Just raise up your hand. They'll minister an envelope to you. And while you're doing that, open up your Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, verse 6. I'm going to be reading out of the New Living Translation. And I love this uh, passage of Scripture here. Again, I've used it several times concerning sowing and receiving. But I like the very first word in this right here. The very first word in, chapter, in verse 6 uh, of chapter 9, it says this, remember. Now, how many of you know if the Bible tells you to remember something, it's probably a good thing to remember it. Amen? The Bible is putting it in there because there's something that's coming after that that we should remember. And here's what it says. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. Verse 7, you must each decide in your heart how much to give, and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. Now, again, we've seen that happen before. Maybe we've all been in, in uh, you know, maybe watched it on TV, heard it on the radio, or even been in services. You know, I've seen it on TV where people say, if, you know, you need to send all the money you can send right now. If you don't, we're going to go off the air. Well, you know what? Let's exercise our faith. Let's not give in to pressure, okay? We should purpose in our heart every time we come into the house of God to sow something into the kingdom of God because remember this. Remember when you first received the Lord where you were at. Maybe it was watching on TV. Maybe it was in a church service. But somebody somewhere sowed into the kingdom of God so that could be available so you could receive Jesus. Amen? And we want to make that available to people as well. So let's read the end of it right here. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully. How many of you want to be one that God loves? Amen? God loves that person. I like that. You know, there's a lot of places in the Bible where it says what God loves, but here particularly it says God loves the person who gives cheerfully. And here's what God will do. Now, we have our part. We're not going to give an under pressure, okay? We're going to prepare ahead of time. We're going to recognize that what our giving does, when it opens up the windows of heaven as well. But here's what God will do, and God will generously provide all you need that you will always have enough and everything you need and plenty more to and plenty more left over to share with others. That is the gospel right there. God receive us us bringing to God, God multiplying it back to us and then us turning around and opening up the kingdom of heaven even more. Amen. So we there's a couple of play, uh, ways that you can join us if you're watching us on live stream how to give. You can give online, you can give by texting FHC Cheyenne to 77977, or download our app as well. It's really, really secure, really easy, and on the app as well. There's also a, a link to our Facebook page. There's also a Bible app there, and there is also a, an archive of all our messages from before, uh, so you can go watch those again as well. So we have a confession we like to speak over our tithes and offerings. Let's all say this together. This is my seed. I sow it into the kingdom of God. I sow it because I love God and want to see Family Harvest Church continue to fulfill what God has called us to do. 
building families that are happy, stable, fruitful, and blessed. I believe that as I sow my seed, it shall be given to me, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, it shall come back to me in many ways. I thank you, Lord, for many opportunities coming my way. I thank you that the windows of heaven are opening because of my obedience to sow my seed. I thank you, Lord, for the favor of God upon my life and the grace to prosper as you have promised me in your word. So, Father, this evening, Lord, as we come together, Lord, we believe, Lord God, that you are able, Father. We believe, Lord God, that not only as we go deeper in our worship, deeper in our praise, Lord, but we desire as well, Lord, we desire to go deeper in our giving, Father. So we thank you, Lord, that as we just declared, Lord, the windows of heaven are opening, Lord, because of our obedience to sow our seed, Lord. We thank you for the grace that you make available to every single one of us, Lord, to give. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that as we continue to believe for jobs and better jobs and bonuses and raises and increase in salary and all those things, Lord God, that we, de we declare, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that it all begins with us, Father. It begins with our faithfulness to your word. So we ask you, Lord, that you receive our tithes and offerings, multiplying for your kingdom as we declare that lives are changed, delivered, and set free by our giving. And we just thank you for this. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's children said what? Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. Well, you can go ahead, and as the buckets go by, you can sow your seed. And then as, you, uh, as they go by, go ahead and stand up. And let's get ready to enter into worship. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Have your way in us. Just move in us, Lord. Cause there's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare your presence, your presence, Lord, Holy Spirit, I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, when my heart becomes free, and my shame is undone, here in your presence. Your presence, Lord, here tonight, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for, to be There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. You're our living hope. Oh, you are your presence. I've tasted and seen of you, Lord. I've tasted and seen. Of the sweetest of loves When my heart becomes free And my shame is undone In your presence, Lord Holy Spirit, you are welcome Holy Spirit, you are welcome here Come flow to be overcome. 
Jesus. I just want to exhort us just a little bit before we go any farther tonight. And just, you know, it's, I spend Wednesdays, I take time on Wednesday and just pray, pray in the spirit, pray uh, for the service, just pray different things down and just um, thinking about it. And so as we're seeing that song, Holy Spirit, uh, we want to be in your presence. Well, what's the purpose? What's the purpose of getting into the presence of God? And is it just to feel goosebumps or is it to feel you know, good? Well, there's more to it. And that's part of going deeper in God. It's not just uh, get, let our flesh be in uh, liking the presence of God. It's to hear from God. God wants to speak to every, each and every one of us. God desires to speak to us on a daily, on a daily basis. But when we come together in a service like this, that we, we create an atmosphere where it makes it easier to hear from God. You know, when we come to church, and, and, and that should be a, a thing, in a sense, a safe place. You know, the world, there's so much noise. How many notice that? Not, not natural noise, but just, you know, talking heads on TV and all kinds of things, all kinds of noise out there. And so we want to create an atmosphere we can hear from God. And, and in, in Isaiah 55, there's so many scriptures, but as I was studying today, the Lord just led me, or as I was praying, it says, Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. You know, Jesus uh, appeared to the, uh, the woman at the well, and he said, give me, a, give me something to drink. And the woman looked at him because he was a Jew and she was a Samaritan, and because Jews normally didn't associate with Samaritans, and she was kind of surprised, and, 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 and he began to talk to her about living water. He said, the water you're going to give me, or the water that you're drawing, he says, you're going to thirst again, but I'm going to give you water where you'll never thirst again. Amen. Amen. And we'll come to Jesus, he, suffi- he, or he, he uh, fulfills every thirst. And if there's a thirst on the inside, if there's a hunger on the inside, and, and you maybe been looking all kinds of places, and even as believers, sometimes we can look. We can get busy in life and such, and just busy, 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 and, and, and he's saying, ho, right? Or we might say, yo, right? Come unto me, all those that are thirsty. Notice what he says, and you who have no money, you have no money. Come buy and eat. Yes, come wine. Come buy wine and milk without money and without price. How do we do that? That's by faith. We come unto God because He's accepted us through Christ Jesus. Yes. And he goes on. Why do you spend money for what is not bread? Remember what He He told the uh, the disciples that later on in J- John chapter four. He said, "My bread or is to do the will of the Father." Yeah. That's what my bread is. Jesus is the bread of life. Yes. You know, when, yes. you know, today it doesn't mean maybe as much. Uh, you go to some third world countries, bread means a lot. That's life. Yeah. 
yeah. or, or you know, it may not be bread like what we think of it, but you know, uh, you know, flatbreads and tortillas and those kind of things. That's that's life to them. That's you know, I've been yeah. into villages, mountain villages of Mexico, and and you know, and that's that's what they give you to eat. So you have to eat. I mean, you have other things, but that's their sustenance. That's what they live on. And so the Bible saying, you come to Jesus. Right? Even as believers, we've got to keep coming to Jesus. We've got to keep going. And, and he goes on here, and, and your wages for what does not satisfy. Notice here, listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Now, verse 3 is what I want to really focus. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live. We're going to sing the song here tonight about listening, about hearing. Because when we do, it, it, our soul comes alive. Yes, yes, when we hear yes. God, because God wants to speak to each and every one of us. He wants to speak yes. deep down on the inside, whatever it is. It, you may be, maybe a question. I can remember uh, Pastor Paige and after, after Janice had passed away, and I can remember her coming to me, and she said, she spoke things that only God knew that I would talked to God about, and it helped me. I mean, she spoke some things to me. I was like, There's only, the only way you know that is that the Holy Spirit revealed that to you. He said, God wants to speak to each and every one of you tonight. Some of you got some questions you're wondering. You're wondering what in the world is going on in our society. And guess what? We can take comfort. And he said, your soul will live. That's our mind, our will, and our emotions. And he goes on, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, the sure mercies of David. Hallelujah. So I hope you've come to listen tonight. I hope you come to, to just get into his presence. And, you know, if you need to kind of, you know, whether it's coming to the altar or just sort of move, you know, away from someone else, not, not that they're a bad person, but sometimes we just, we just got to get alone by ourselves and God. When I went to Bible school years ago, we used to have a, we always had worship. The, the, the first class started at 8.30. We always had worship, and it was a gentleman. His name was Tom. I don't know why I remember that, but, and Tom would just stand there. He didn't move around. He'd just sit there and play his guitar, and I remember him saying this. He'd talk about, like, Superman. You know, remember Clark Kent, get into the phone booth. You know, we don't have those anymore, right? And he'd talk about, just get, get into your phone booth, you and God just you and God. So tonight, just you and God. And then listen, not with these ears, but listen in your heart. Listen down on the inside, because he'll speak to you all. And, and he'll, he'll share things with you. And it's not always directional things. You, you know, when I, I, I think I did, I taught about that a while back. You know, when God speaks to us, it's always for instruction. It's for relationship and fellowship, because he loves us. And he wants to have that time with us. Hallelujah. So come to him tonight. Yes. Whatever you need. Whatever you need. Because he's wanting to speak. Amen. Why don't you just lift your hands up. As we sing this song, just and, and mean it from your heart. As we sing this, we're listening. And listen. Pay attention. Incline your ear so your soul can live. Hallelujah, your emotions can rise up to where they need to be. Your will can line up with the, with the will and the plan of the Father. Hallelujah. Go ahead, Amy. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs>
walls rage. You whisper peace when I don't have the words to say. Won't lose hope. Storms won't break. You keep your Jesus, your ways are higher. You know just what I need. I trust you, Jesus. You see what I cannot see. Your ways are higher. You know just what I need. I trust you, Jesus. You see what I you, Jesus. You see what I cannot see. Your ways are higher. You know just what I need. I trust you, Jesus. You see what I cannot see. Jesus, we worship you, Jesus, because your ways are higher. You know just what I need. I trust you, Jesus. You see what I cannot see. Your ways are higher. You know just what I need. I trust you, Jesus. See what I cannot see, your ways are higher, you know just what I need, I trust you Jesus, you see what I cannot see, your ways are higher, you know just what I need, I trust you Jesus, you see what
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, would you come here a minute? Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Just stand right here. Come here, see. Just face us, if you would. And I just, I keep being drawn to you as we've been singing that song, and I'm not really, well, I have an idea why. Just sense that there's some turmoil on the inside about a decision you've made, and you're, you're just not sure. And just as we were singing that song right there, we trust Jesus, right? His ways are higher, and he sees what we can't see, right? Thank you, Lord. Father, I just thank you right now for peace in her heart. I thank you, Father God, she can trust you, Lord Jesus, and what you are speaking to her heart, Father God. And even, Father, if it goes against her natural thinking, if it goes against even, Father God, what others have spoken to her, Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Because, Lord, as we sang at the beginning, you're not the God of confusion, Lord God. You, you bring peace in every and each situation. And so, Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, it should not be afraid. Father God, to do what you're telling her in her heart to do, Father. I just thank you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And sometimes it goes against. It goes against what family is uh, encouraging us to do. It goes against what maybe others have encouraged us to do. But we, when we follow what God is saying, there's peace. Doesn't always mean it's going to be easy, but there's peace. Peace in the storm, peace in the in, in the trial. Yes, Hallelujah! Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. So I thank you right now in Jesus' name, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for ministering to her heart tonight, Father God. And, and just what is being spoken will confirm to her, Lord God, she's hearing you. She's hearing your voice. <laughs> Hallelujah! You know the Bible says, "My sheep know my voice." They know my voice. I don't hear another voice. They know my voice. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just love honor for a little bit. Just love honor for a little bit. Hallelujah. Now, if you're new here, what, what is that? Well, it's a combination, a word, a word of knowledge and wisdom, word of wisdom, what the Bible talks about, and, and prophecy, God will speak, words of encouragement and exhortation and such. And, and it's listening to the Holy Spirit, yes. listening down yes. on the inside. What does he have to say? And don't always have to be for someone else. God will speak things to you. And, you know, I've been in uh, years ago, uh, a group of ministers would get together. And it was something you always, <laughs> you made sure you brought it to pray. And you always brought a notepad with you because the Holy Spirit would speak things to you when you were in that service. Maybe different than what was being said. You know, uh, and I, I know I've talked about this before. I think I need to do a series on this, uh, that God speaks in stereo. You know, the minister can be saying something, yeah. but the Holy Spirit. So that's what's more important. So what's the Holy Spirit saying? And it might be what the minister is saying, but it'll speak to us directly, and it, you know, and, and so, so what is the Holy Spirit saying to you this tonight? And there may be more than, than Willow, that you, you got some turmoil on the inside, you know, and, and, and sometimes, he, you know, God, God gives us a direction, and, or, or, or sometimes he will let us go, you know, to, to a certain place, right? But when we quiet ourselves, yes, yes. get into his presence, hallelujah, amen? amen? Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Father, we just worship you. Yes. And we honor you. Let's just worship him some more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you.
troubles rage you whisper peace when I don't have the words to say I won't lose hope when storms roll gray you keep your word and your promises will keep me safe I don't want to miss one word you fades just a word and suddenly I'm not afraid cause you speak and freedom reigns there is hope in every single word you say Trust you, whatever it takes. 
hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, as we just, hallelujah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Keep getting this. There's an awakening. There's an awakening coming to this nation. I saw, <laughs> saw churches with people on their knees crying out to God, crying out to God for this nation, crying out to God for the people of this nation. And I begin to see as if it would, it looked like uh, pinpoints of light just going out from where people were praying and where people were crying out to God. And, and, and in my heart, just now, I said, God, what is that? He says, that's the angels. They're, they're hearkening unto the word of the Lord. They're hearkening, as the Bible says, they will hearken unto the word of God. And, and they're going out and they're bringing, hallelujah. The Bible says they are sent forth for the heirs of salvation. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I said, Lord, when? This is in my heart. I'm saying, Lord, when? Thank you, Lord. And he didn't answer. That's where faith comes. We stand on the word. And we continue to call out to God because God's hearing. And God is moving. You know, Paul said this, where sin abounds, how much more will grace abound? Thank you, Lord. We don't stop beseeching heaven. We don't stop. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of God. God said in the last days, the, the, glory, of the, uh, the, the glory of God would, would cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. What's the glory of God? It's the manifest presence of God. Thank you, Lord. So there's an awakening coming. We continue. We continue to pray. We continue in the things of God. Continue seeking Him. Continue pressing in and to him for that greater glory and that greater manifestation of his presence. Thank you, Lord. I was reading something the other day and, and Mario Morello talked about going into, into places and cities and ghettos and he said the young people are hungry for God because they've been told and they've tried all kinds of things and, you know, and, all, and it's not satisfying. And he's seeing them come to God by the hundreds and the thousands. They're coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we just praise you. Thank you, Lord, for an awakening. Awaken us, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Father God, for a mighty move of your Holy Spirit, Lord, as we pray this morning, Lord God, that you, the God of the rain, would send the rain in the time of the latter rain. And Lord, we know we're living in that time, Lord God. And so you said to ask and we would receive, Lord God. You said to ask that our joy might be full. And so, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, that you are sending the rain upon this nation. You are sending the rain upon this church. You are sending the rain upon churches in this greater Cheyenne area, Lord God. And I thank you there's an awakening, Father, in, in your church, an awakening, Father, to the things of God and to you. Lord God, and drawing closer to you, Lord God, so that we may manifest your presence, Lord, to a world that so desperately needs you, Lord God. Father, that living water that Jesus said out of our bellies would flow, rivers of living water, Lord God, as we get into your presence more and more, Lord God, more of the world falls off of us and more of you is manifested through us, Lord God, so they can see a God that loves them, a God that has forgiven them, a God that says, I, I love you and I care about you and I have a plan and a purpose for your life. So we thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So thank you for the rain, Lord. Thank you for the rain, Lord God. Thank you for the rain. You said in Hosea, you would come to us as the former and the latter rains together. You would come as surely as the sun rises, you said you would come. And so we thank you, Lord. Come into our homes. Father, we pray for manifestations of the presence of God in our homes, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, where it touches every person, moms and dads and, and children, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. Father, where your presence just comes so strong, Lord God, that... Uh, Families are instantly and supernaturally changed, Lord God, because of your presence being manifested in their house. And so we thank you, Lord. We pray.
praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord Jesus, above everything else. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we just worship you, Jesus. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We just worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Your husband loves you very much. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you for the healing power of God flowing into her back. Just put your hand on her, on her middle of her back. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we release the healing power of God right now in the name of Jesus. We just come in that pain to go from her right now. In Jesus' name, pain you subside. Come in, we speak to uh, disc in her lower back. Get back into line and be healed right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. For the healing power of God, we just release that into your body in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we just release the power of God right now. Thank you, Lord. That you're the healer. Uh, anyone else need healing in your body? Just come on up right now if you would. If you need healing for anything in your body tonight. Hallelujah. The healing power of God's here. Thank you, Lord. Anyone else? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just bless you. We just, Father, we just thank you. Every wet hole, Father, we just thank you. Complete. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that when Jesus went about healing all that were sick and oppressed of the enemy, Lord God, he healed them and made them whole. Not just, Lord, we thank you, not just um, healing, but restoring tonight in her back. Father, any damage has been done in her body, thank you for restoring it right now in Jesus' name, back to what it needs to be. Yes, in yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can you tell the difference? Can you tell the difference? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, isn't that easier than picking it up? And <laughs> they were teasing me about this new podium. I don't forget what they said. Somebody says, made a funny comment, but he said, it's heavier than the, the old one. I said, yeah, but you can slide it. Yeah, after it. Amen. Hallelujah. God speak anything to you specifically, to your heart. Anybody, something that you were needing an answer to or just comfort or hallelujah so willow and anyone else thank you lord thank you father thank you. well don't stop listening spoke yes, to your heart yes, yes. protection amen thank you lord thank you. what's your name young man fabian. fabian fabian hallelujah thank you lord do you know have you given this is is this your whole family here yeah this is the whole family Praise God. We're glad you're here tonight. Amen. God loves you guys. Amen. You know that? Amen. Loves you very much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, Psalm 91. Psalm 91 talks about protection. Amen. You know that one. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What well, stand? Praise God. Keep listening. All right? Don't, don't, you know, just because you leave uh, this building tonight, you know, some, sometimes as we go, God will speak, right? He'll speak to us. Or in the night, he'll speak to us. Yes. He might be at work. You know, kind of, this might sound kind of funny. You know, different times God speaks to me when I'm shaving. I don't know why that is, but when I'm shaving in the morning, God will just speak something to me. And I just, I'm glad he doesn't say it with a booming voice because I might cut myself or something, you know, when I'm doing that. But... And there's just been different times when I'm just shaving in the morning. I don't know why that is, but uh, I guess because you just kind of, you know, yeah, you don't really exactly. think about what you're doing, you know, and such. So, hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Amen. Thank you. And just like that song, when he speaks, confusion leaves. Right? Hope comes. Confusion right. leaves. and Hope comes. Right? And we can trust Jesus because Jesus knows. He sees. Hallelujah. Why don't you just lift your hands up one more time. Father, we just thank you for tonight. Thank you for speaking to hearts. Thank you for bringing comfort. Thank you for bringing peace. Thank you, Father God, for confusion going. We just praise you and honor you and give you glory. And thank you for those watching by live stream, yes. Lord God. That, Father, just, Lord, we know there's no distance, Lord God. Father God, we, we praise you for technology today that, Father, we can reach people all over this country. Father, people that are men that are driving their trucks, Lord God, in different lands and nations, Lord God, we thank you. 
and we give you glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, shake someone's hand as you go. And, and if there's someone you don't know, find out who they are.